What's going on, Pokemon Go trainers? Welcome to a special Halloween bonus episode of the Lured Up podcast. Today is Sunday, October 31st. That's Halloween. 2021. It is officially Halloween. <laughs> it's officially spooky time. Adam is two feet away from me right now. We're sitting at the kitchen table of our, our Airbnb, Airbnb <laughs> in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We're here for the Safari Zone. And holy shit, Adam. What a fucking weekend, baby. What a weekend. <laughs> Yo, this was uh, this was an amazing time, and I'm really excited that we're able to actually do this in person. This is the first time we've ever recorded together in person. This is the wait, first... wait, wait. No, it's not. I came to your house. But we recorded? Yeah. We did? Yeah. Oh, we did. That's right. Yeah. But this is the first time with like a legit setup. Yeah, we're we not just like setup. sitting around one I'm microphone. I'm staring at you while I'm talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, Philadelphia Safari Zone, Halloween. This is fucking insane, man. This 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 whole weekend is awesome. This is just going to be a special bonus episode where we're just going to talk about our weekend, our experience with the Safari Zone, the amazing time we had, the partying that we had up until about five hours ago when we went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's 9.40 in the morning right now. We have to be out of our Airbnb in fucking hour and 20 an minutes. hour and 20 minutes. So this was uh, this is just a little bonus episode just to kind of recap the event. So let's let's start from the top. Right. We, we decided we're coming to Philly. We, this was the makeup event. We knew that we had to do something because this is our shot. We had to shoot our shot. This is the Northeast. Yeah, event. this is the closest event to us. So if we didn't do it in person we'd be making a mistake because this was the most practical it's an hour and a half away from me it's only seven and a half hours away from me which isn't isn't terrible you know <laughs> what i mean it's not like but you, know, you you going to your house is a lot closer because it's only six hours yeah but you know i'll, I'll i'm excited because I'm, I'm going out to eat with niantic in a fucking hour or two and then i'm going home i'll be in my fucking in my underwear it's chilling in the house <laughs> by like this afternoon so i'm really fucking excited but let's talk about the event well actually let's 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 back it up let's talk about beep, the beep. airbnb process because we knew that we were coming but this was an opportunity for us to actually connect with the community in a way that we haven't done before and we were like fuck it let's get a big ass airbnb get some community members to come out and we started searching and we talked about it on previous episode, you know, how we, we found this fucking amazing place that was in the hood. And we were like, but it had this rooftop fire pit. And it, yeah. looked, it looked fucking amazing. <laughs> and we we're like, yo, I hope this isn't like the old switcheroo. Like we get there and, you know, there's fucking holes in the floor and shit. <laughs> but like we get here and it's and nice. Th first of all, the street that we're on is like eight feet wide. The entire fucking street is lined with cars, people parked on the sidewalk. Like My car is right now is parked on the sidewalk. <laughs> it's so great. And like we we didn't even move our cars the whole week. And I got a truck. So it's like the shit is parked on the sidewalk. Everything is like abandoned and beat down. Like I'm looking out our back door right now and it looks there's, there's like there's literally a hole in the wall. Like I can <laughs> like see through the building next the to the other us. building. The building next to us looked like looks like like a bomb went off in it and they just left that shit. <laughs> and they did never fixed it ever. But No, we, listen, it's Halloween. We need to talk about the squirrel. All right. All right. We'll start with the squirrel. That's an important story. So, all right. We we we'll we'll, we'll have to back up to to the actual Airbnb, but we look outside and there's this big ass squirrel, like the mother of all squirrels on the pole outside of our front door. And it's just chilling like it's not moving. We're we're a couple feet away and it didn't move. Yeah, it wasn't scared of us at all. And we're like, yo, what's up with this fucking squirrel? Everyone literally came out and looked and we're like, oh, how cute. A fucking and then it squirrel. like jumped off the pole onto like something and then it like it was like I was like parkour, parkour, yeah, parkour. But it was like it was the most chill squirrel ever. So we were like, all right, cutesy. We go to our we go to the event again. We're jumping ahead, but we go to the event. We come back, and the squirrel is dead, laying in front of our door, <laughs> like, like no blood. There's no chance that it could have gotten hit by the car. But we we're all like, "No, poor squirrel." This is some Halloween spooky stuff, and the, it it gets way better. So, all right, we we come in from <laughs> the event. Fast forward to this morning. We, yeah, <laughs> fast forward to this morning. Jamal, uh, Jamal, uh, and I'll go through who's all here and all that. But Jamal left early, and we get a picture in our Discord. Someone removed the head of the squirrel, just the head, <laughs> like the it's body. Just the there. body has been moved about. 
10 feet to the side <laughs> and the head is like a clean cut. So either a fucking chupacabra bit this thing's fucking head off or some fucking voodoo lady from down the street took a fucking hacksaw to the shit. <laughs> it was like, ah, this, the, this will be good. I'm just scared the little squirrel, kids. Dude, the poor squirrel is sitting outside of our stoop right now with no fucking head. So very, very fitting for Halloween. But anyway, let, let's back up. Let's all back right, up. All right, all right, all right. We get the bomb ass fucking Airbnb, probably the most expensive night stay I've ever paid for. But, but we had plenty of people to make it less. Which is why this whole weekend was so fucking amazing. So we just, we we're originally just going to be here for Saturday, right? We we're just going to do Saturday and into Sunday. And our play day was Saturday. And people were like, you know, we people from the community were like, all right, we want to come. And if you're and like Justin came, he's flying from Texas. It's like. One day trip is kind of like, you know, it's not, yeah, it's, it's little, not enough time. It's a little too quick. And like Mythical Hitch came. He's from Iowa. Right. And 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 Raber came for, with you down from the ride from New Hampshire yes. because he's local to you. <laughs> and then Jamal flies in from from uh, fucking North Carolina. Right. Is he from North Carolina? My fucking. Yeah. Crazy? Charlotte. Yeah. From Charlotte. So we had this amazing convergence of community of people that we've done Zoom calls with. Yeah, it literally felt like our, our patron Zoom call it was, it was, on a Monday. It was so great. People we've had and built relationships with over the last two years digitally are here with us right yeah, now. Yeah, it was like family. It was it was fucking amazing. But what, what we were decided, like, rather than just do the Saturday night, people were like, you know what? Maybe we'll get Friday night. So we had already had the Saturday night booked and we're like, fuck it. Let's also do Friday night. So we ended up doing booking Friday night. People came in some and, and, and Ken um, from my local community in the Red Bank community. He's like, I can't stay Saturday night, but I'll come Friday night. We're like, fuck it. Come on down. So we get here, you know, check in was like four o'clock. I'm driving to Philly. And again, it's local to me. And Hitch is in the airport waiting for Jamal to land. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'll just come scoop you guys up at the airport. <laughs> so I drive to, to the airport. I pay for some short term parking. I meet Hitch at the restaurant in the in the airport at the Marriott, you know, Philadelphia Airport Marriott. We get some food, some banging ass pretzels with mustard beer cheese dipping sauce. Ooh. Legendary level. That fucking, sounds delicious. They were like sixteen dollar pretzels. Worth it. Straight up worth it. We waited an hour for Jamal. Jamal comes down. Well, for, actually, let me even get back. I, as I walk up to to Hitch at the fucking bar, they're pouring him a shot of Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, damn, son. Like, yeah, it's, it's five o'clock somewhere, three o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so Jamal Jamal gets there. We hop in the car. We drive to the Airbnb. We walk in, and it's exactly how the pictures showed it. It was I would say even better than the pictures. Right? Yeah. Right? It's like a very narrow four-story Airbnb with a rooftop bar. Everything is like brand fucking new, marble counters, immaculate. The place is fucking immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. It was amazing. So Friday night, what we're like, Adam was supposed to come. Like, you decided you were going to... Yes. So th what happened on Friday? So... On Wednesday, my son wasn't feeling really great. He was lethargic. He was slow moving. And he didn't want to eat a lot. And he ended up staying home from school on Wednesday because he was throwing up. And, like, I've never seen him like that, you know. And so, like, I, I remember bringing him his blanket. And, you know, I even brought him some of his favorite breakfast, which is waffles with some blue Captain Crunch uh, syrup. That's like a healthy dog. That's a great, that's a great Listen, breakfast. that's what he loves, you know, and I'm not yeah, going to. Oh, your stomach is feeling bad? Here's some blue food. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's fine. No. So he eats that or he doesn't actually eat that. He just, uh, his eyes didn't light up like they normally do. So I, I knew something was up. Um, Thursday, I grabbed him and he was. Or yeah, well, Thursday he was throwing up. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it was Thursday he was throwing up, and then Friday I had him, but he stayed home because he had diarrhea. Like he, this poor kid. Dude. Yeah, so he's you know he's he's having a hard time, you know, and it's like I'm not gonna send him to school because these are you know COVID symptoms. Like that's 
but who, but who knows? Like there's flus, there's bugs going around. Kids get sick. Kids yeah. get sick. So, you know, I'm scrambling all, all morning to try to find, you know, something for him to get a test so I can feel confident coming down. Cause that's just out of respect for everybody that, uh, you know, I'm not going to drive down here with the potential of having COVID. That's not okay. So I did the right thing, got him tested, came back negative and dropped him off was okay. So then I waited, um, I got back home and picked up my girlfriend, Chanel and, MD Raver from the from the Discord, and uh, I mean we got a slow start. <laughs> and uh, so, wait, not just a slow start. Adam shows up at three thirty a.m. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we, we were already like uh, it was like well, dinner time when I was when I was getting ready to leave. So I'm like, okay, we got to stop at Burger King, and then we're st- stuck in line, and it's like th- that line for that specific Burger King in Rochester is just it's like a gridlock. You can't get out. Once you get in, you can't get out. <laughs> so. I, I text you and you're like, oh yeah, did you get everything? And you're like, ah. or I said, no, I don't have my mic or anything. I forgot I'm like, that. Adam, hard stop. Turn the fucking car around and go home and get the fucking <laughs> mic, dude. I was like, I'm not, I go, I'm not turning up the, uh, passing up the opportunity to record with you in person. <laughs> I was like, turn around. He, and it was already late. And I was like, I, I don't care. I put the fucking, I put the hammer down. <laughs> no, no, no. And it's fine. It's fine. It's my fault. I forgot. So we go back to the house and I, I'm like, all right, well, I, I forgot. Like I that I found a little Growlithe like Pokemon toy, and I was like, "That's for Justin. I gotta bring that." <laughs> and so yeah, I was fuck like, the mic. He yeah. got the Growlithe. <laughs> I got the Growlithe. Um, yeah, that was what I was more focused on. <laughs> and then I was like, "Oh shoot, I gotta get all these but, things." But how how was the the ride down? Was the it? ride was fine, honestly. Like I put in the directions, and like I was like, "Why aren't we going through any tolls?" And because it said it was like this is the fastest route, but there were no tolls. So I think I avoided tolls, but it was the fastest route. You you probably could have got here sooner. No, I don't think so. Because it was when I looked at the three different options, one of them was like nine minutes longer. But anyway, we you know, I was already like everyone was already here except Adam, Chanel, and Raber, right? So we're we're already going through our our process. You know, we went down to the bodega. And, like, it's straight up bodega. Like, the bodega from Half-Baked, that was the fucking bodega at our corner. But it was like we were excited. Like, as we're pulling down our street, I was like, oh, shit, we got a bodega. Hell fucking yeah. It was really good. And then uh, we were like, we got to find a liquor store. Like, we got to get food. We found a little fucking Greek cart that sold, like, falafels and gyros and shit, like, on the in the, on the street. And uh, and we bought a whole bunch of, uh, of booze. <laughs> and just came back. Hung out. It was fucking great. We got some food, and uh, I don't know. We we probably went to bed. We knew we were gonna have a big day Saturday yesterday, so we went to bed knowing you guys were gonna show up at some point. And the the Airbnb is like five stories vertical, so I'm all the way up, you know, up top, and I didn't even hear you guys fucking come in. So it was just like, yeah, we kind of snuck in. S- fast forward to. 7 a.m. the next day, I had set my alarm for 7 a.m. Ken and like- comes <laughs> rushing down the stairs. It's like... <laughs> I want to be the very best. And it was like, are you serious right now? And like Ken's energy level is on 200 percent right now and he's like running down the stairs he's like let's go i ran i ran down the steps let's go to the beat of the theme doom 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 like (laughs) it was the loudest wake up i've ever had (laughs) full fucking blast it was so fucking funny and you guys were you guys were good sports. Raber popped right the fuck up. This guy's a fucking machine. It doesn't matter if he doesn't even sleep. He's like powered by soda pop and fucking snacks and shit. Gummy He's bears. just like, yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> and then I felt so bad, but I, I I did, but I didn't. I was just like, yo, just let's go, bro. This is this is fucking go time. And the day just fucking ran from there. We had early access tickets, so we wanted to get to Fairmont Park by ten, 10 o'clock. Yeah. So. You know, we couldn't fit all fit in one Uber. We had to take two Ubers. Yeah, both but we our, tried, though. We tried. Both of our Uber experiences were very fucking interesting. The Uber that we first took, the guy took a wrong turn. And, like, we're literally, like, ten minutes, five, ten minutes away from the park where our Like, Airbnb walking is. distance. And, and fucking, 
the guy like fucked us up. We ended up having to walk a half a yeah, mile. Yeah, he's from like, where no, no, no. This is up. the entrance. This is the entrance. <laughs> he's like, your ride is over. I'm like, son, we can't fucking. We're like, where's the? We don't even see the poker stops on the map. I was just <laughs> like, so we ended up having to walk like half a mile to finally get there. Fucking but it was poor, a nice walk. Honestly. Poor Hitch, the first fucking step he takes is into like a sloppy wet puddle. Ten steps later, he steps into fresh tar on the fucking road. It was, it was just like some some epic level storybook shit. But we finally get to the fucking park. The event starts. We spin the first stop. Boom. The game flips over. All the spawns pop up. The whole fucking park is immediately lit up with lures. There was probably a hundred stops, right? About a hundred in this one concentrated yeah. area. As far as like spawns and stops go, it was fucking insane. It was just absolutely awesome. This was definitely not Go Fest. There no, was, but it felt, it felt. No, but I'm saying like there was like a tent to sell merch. There was like a couple cutouts of the team leaders and Daddy Willow and and like, you know, little team lounge with some picnic tables and a row of food trucks. That's pretty much it. This was what I loved about this as a safari zone was this was about playing, right? So we're, I'm ready to grind. I'm ready to fucking go, 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 catch, catch, catch. I cleared 1,100 spaces out of the inventory. And then like... An hour into the event, I'm like, you know what? I don't even care about catching Pokemon right now. It was just so amazing Seeing all the people to see everybody and meeting everyone and meet the community. We did a we did a community um, a, a creator meetup at the fountain in the middle of the park with the trainer club and JT Valor. Uh, Joe Landor was there. Uh, Omnisec, Will Rock from New York City. Like there was ball a lot, guy was there. Ball, the ball guy was there. It, it was just really all about the community. Everyone, Cowboy hat Caterpie. Yo. The official cowboy hat Caterpie was there with the cowboy hat and a full blown inflatable Caterpie outfit that he (laughs) ordered from China that didn't fit him. And he was like, I don't care. He literally had to walk like like take little baby steps because his legs were like tied together in this fucking costume. It, It was all about the community. I didn't even care about the spawns and I've never felt that way. And it was just like. It was amazing. Yes. It was like the greatest fucking experience. You know, we just hung out. We walked back and forth. There was a fucking million porta potties. Like the infrastructure was great. There was sell on wheels everywhere. There was no issues with connectivity. It, it was just very, very well run. Um, Michael from Niantic, the guy that did the dev diary, he was there early in the morning. So we got able to connect with him in person. You know, again, people I've had relationships with for years yep. digitally. And it's like, you finally get to meet them. It was really exciting. And, you know, of course, JT Valor, who's a good friend of ours, um, was there and we ended up pretty much, you know, spending the weekend with him. Um, and we played through the event throughout the whole day. And it wasn't like, how many shinies do you have? How many, sh-? like, we just hung out. Yeah. I remember it multiple times. It was like, I was utilizing the Pokeball plus and it's just like, I didn't even like care to look at my phone at some points. So I was just like clicking the ball. And, I'm like, with you. And- I'm with you. And it, but, but like it didn't, it did, that didn't take away from your experience. Right? No, not at all. That's, that was the beauty of it. It was just like, you know, you have those aha moments. Like when Niantic says these things and gets real campy about like, you know, this is a community based game and this is social and it's about bringing people together. And it's, you know, it could sound cheesy to a certain extent, but it this event, I think for me, really encompassed what this game is all about and that feeling that we've forgotten over the last two years. Yeah. Because it, it of, really felt like this is what it was meant for. It was awesome. And it was just like IRL events are back. There was, you know, people weren't stupid. There was enough room in the park to to stay distant if you if you wanted to. It was it was great. It was just a fucking amazing event, and you know we stayed there till like the event wrapped at six. We were there till like five thirty. We even left a little early. Like if it was Go Fest, we would be grinding, grinding, grinding. Like we left at fucking five thirty or something yeah. like that. And it was like, <laughs> and we didn't care. You know, it was yeah, we just, like came came back to the uh, Airbnb and like just kind of finished up the couple catches that we could and. And that's when things started to get a little wild. <laughs> so, a little wild. So we, 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 you know, walk to the liquor store. I call JT Valor. I'm like, yo, I'm at the liquor store. What do you want? He's like, hmm, honey whiskey. <laughs> so we buy a big fucking bottle of whiskey, 
Jamal, we ended up he he had bought a bottle of Tito's on Friday. That shit was gone, so he had to buy another one on Saturday. <laughs> we bought your know, pre mixed Jack and Coke in cans, Crown Royal. I didn't Coke even know those things existed. No, no, me neither. And then then it, we come to learn that in a past life, Jamal was a bartender. So he's buying all he's these already booked for dude, our wedding. He you know? buys all these types of juices <laughs> and like is fucking mixing shit. Like the drinks have like colored layers and shit with it differently. <laughs> he's like, look, this mango, and the <laughs> strawberry kiwi. Like, and I don't drink. You know, I'm not a drinker. It's not that I don't drink out of principle. I just don't I don't like alcohol, the taste of alcohol. And I'm Same. typically the driver. So I'm just never putting myself in the position to not drive. But. I had nowhere to go. I had no reason to drive. I'm with good friends. I'm like, yo. Worst case dr- scenario, you take an Uber. I'm going to drink tonight. I'm going to make some drinks. And he made these fucking phenomenal fruity ass drinks. Which where, is like my cup of tea right there. But it was because of the Tito's that I was able to drink it because it was it just was smooth. It was great. So fast forward to, I don't know what time, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, something like that. Um, yeah, it felt a lot later than it was. But oh, yeah, because like we've really been on early. our feet all day. We were yeah. spent. JT Valor shows up. Um, he, he brings his friend Angela, and then ultimately Ivan, his buddy you might see in the videos, he came. And uh, we hung out on the roof with the fire pit and just had amazing conversations about our lives, about the game, about the state of the game, like just hanging out with friends. And, and I haven't experienced that in fucking years. Like yeah. it, felt it felt so good, so amazing, um, and and the best part about it, like the, we're literally staring at the Philadelphia skyline from our roof. It was just picturesque, absolutely fucking hilarious and amazing. Like yeah, Chanel was, said it looked like the morning time, like a like where it was just becoming light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was really cool. It was really really nice, and uh, you know I think it was like we didn't even open the so. We didn't even open the bottle of whiskey to like, I don't know. I don't know what it, it happened. It had to have been like mm, 10. <laughs> no like, way. Yeah, way no. later than that. Way later than that. No. But we're sitting there and we're, you know, everyone's, you know, getting, getting toasty, getting warmed up. And uh, was this because the fireplace or the alcohol? I, both. <laughs> and then, and then we're like, uh, we're like, JT, you know, we got it. Got you a bottle of whiskey, you know, downstairs. What do you want to do? And Angela's like, yo. Go get that shit. Jamal, like a kid on Christmas morning, fucking runs downstairs, grabs the Which shit. Which is like three flights of stairs. Three flights of steps. Gr- grabs the bottle, comes up. He- his pockets are filled with shot glasses. I'm like, yo, this dude's about to pour fucking shots of whiskey. And they were so big. <laughs> they were- like, they look like candle holders. <laughs> he-, he essentially poured everyone glasses of whiskey. It- shit started getting crazy <laughs> at that point. And, uh... And it was just, it was just an amazing time. It was like, you know, and some of us are older. It was like, it felt youthful. I felt invigorated. Like it was just a good, good fucking time. We come back inside because it it was like, and right when we were about to wrap up on the roof, it started raining. It was like perfect timing. I was like, fuck it. We got to go inside anyway. It was, yeah, it was like 1130, 1130, almost 12. And we're like, all right, let's go inside. And, uh. It, you know, festivities continued a little bit in, you know, downstairs and, you know, everybody's like walking like they're on a fucking boat on the water, <laughs> you know, like everyone's <laughs> real tuned up. And, uh, you know, I I don't ever really drink. I had a couple drinks. It was just it was a really, really good time with good people, good friends. And, uh, you know, JT ended up uh, having to to get get Angela back to, to their Airbnb because she was all tuned up. And uh, and Ivan was just like, all right, y'all chill out for a little while. Real good guy. He's a community leader, a self ranger from Florida. So he hadn't had the experience to kind of interact with with us or our community. So we had just really good conversations about our process. And, you know, he, he was very intrigued of the podcast space and creating. And we had great, great conversations. So, you know, maybe like 1.30 a.m., 2 a.m. He's like, all right, I'm going to roll out pulls up Uber and a five minute Uber was $60. And he's like, yo, fuck that. I'm because all the bars were getting out. He's like, you mind if I just chill here to wait for this surge to go down? I'm like, yeah, yo, dude, no problem. An hour and a half later, three 30 in the morning, I'm fucking doing dishes and we're still talking Pokemon go. Cause the fucking Uber rates didn't go down. 
And uh, eventually, you know, they finally they finally went down and, and the night ended. But holy shit, Adam, what a fucking day, man. Yeah, it was phenomenal. It, it really was. I mean, if I, I, I ask everyone to check out our social, we put up some great photos. We got uh, from, more. We from, have more. Yeah. Coming. From the I don't even know what we could show because shit got a little crazy on Saturday night. But um, <laughs> it was just it was it was a really, really good time. And it was an amazing reminder of the power of this game beyond the Pokemon. Like, it's more than a game. This is about... Beyond the tap, tap, tap. Yeah. The swirly, like, swirly, swirls. Like, usually your eyes are locked to the screen. And you're with people and you're in the sights, but you're locked to the Listen, screen. Listen, I challenged JT in PvP. Just like... You guys actually did a battle rain. at fucking midnight on the roof in the rain. And it was, <laughs> it was intense. <laughs> it was super cool. Um, and then... But what I what I I lost that, by the way you did lose it was lose. literally by a hair though yeah if I got my charge move off I would have won it's, it's always one, one, one HP in a dream it always yeah. is but the 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 really the greatest part of this whole weekend was just seeing our community in person meeting them in person these memories for sure will yeah. just be with us fucking forever. forever like what an amazing 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 weekend um yeah man I. I this was just awesome. This was so awesome. I mean, it's like, you know, there was even like a point when we were all hanging out upstairs. And again, I'm tuned up because I'm fucking drinking whiskey and shit. And, <laughs> you know, it's like I got emotional a little bit. I'm like, yo, this is this is really what it's all about. I go, this is so fucking cool that we've all come together from, you know, four points of the fucking country. We're all together in one spot. And uh, it was just it was just amazing. man. And I got to yeah. see you. It's like, you know, Adam, Adam and I have known each other for years and years and years it's probably only been five or six times that we've seen each other yeah. in person, which is fucking bizarre. So yeah. Cause like I visited you once, like just it was Philly free hang. streets was the first time, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Philly and free then like streets. I came down recorded with you and hung out and then two go fests, two go fests. And then this, that's it five times. Yeah. So it's like, this is a big fucking deal for us. And like the fact that, we're not huddled around a USB powered microphone right now and that we're sitting in a fucking, you know, fancy Airbnb with a full blown recording setup. You know, this is, this is awesome, man. This is like, yeah. this is really amazing. And I mean, and the fact that our community is here with us and they're hanging on the other side of the room right now and they get to like, you know, we're recording this episode with a live studio audience. Yeah. Yell you know, everyone. Hey, say, hi. say what's up. <laughs> but like the fact that, that like this is happening right now, is the coolest fucking thing to me, and it's it's mind blowing, and uh, yeah, man, I'm very, I'm, just, I love you, Adam. This is, I this love is, you too. This Ken. is amazing, dude. <laughs> this is, this is really, really, uh, really, really amazing time, but um, it's like the best part is we're already planning Go Fest. Yeah, like we're like we literally had a conversation last night about where are we getting a place, how are we getting a place, how big like, are we going? <laughs> like the plans are already in motion. Like the shit is happening. So. Very, very cool shit. Talking talking about worlds, too. Yeah, and worlds. Like, it's... Dude, I'm just... I love the, the state that the community is in right now. And don't get caught up on fucking Twitter. Don't worry about this bullshit happening on there and all the toxicity and negativity and all that bullshit. It isn't like that. What th this, what, this weekend and this house and this community here that we have is so representative of what this community is and what it should be. Exactly. The good, the good in, all the good in the world, you know yeah. what I mean? It's just like... It's very inspiring that this was able to like come together the way it did. And I'm I'm super proud of it, man. And and you know I appreciate you because this is like couldn't I can't do this without you. I love you, man. And I can't do this without you. It's good. It's it's really good shit. And thank you to everyone in the community, everyone that we met. You know, um, I you know we, we met fucking Gabby and Rosemary Kelly. You know that from Pokemon. You know that that do commentary. Um, we met so many other creators. I mean, seeing Billy Lutz, you know, I haven't seen him since fucking Go Fest. Um, you know, I mean, JT is a, lo a little bit different because we we're friends, so we like we yeah. call each other and all that shit. But like, there's you know, seeing people for we the first time. We call Go Cast Chris from the roof. We call Go Cast Chris. Yo, we called. Yo, we must have called Casual Coops ten times, and he didn't yeah, we've answer. Got some, we've got because some because it was like three a.m. in fucking London, and we're like <laughs> JT's like fuck it, just keep calling him, just keep calling him. I get a text at eight o'clock in the morning from Coops, like what the fuck, bro? What did I miss? And I'm like, I was waiting for him to pick up the phone, and I'm gonna do my Coops impression. You ready? Fucking mate, 
why are you fucking calling me at three in the fucking morning? I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> like, I was just waiting for him to answer the phone and he didn't fucking answer. But yeah, he, he texted me. He's like, he's like, yo, what did I miss? And uh, I was like, yo, go fest. We got to stay with incense. They, if they yeah. need to come to the fucking States and like, we need to, we need to rent a fucking mansion, bro. We need to get a giant ass place. It, it's going to be amazing. But um, what are your final thoughts on this weekend, man? Like, h- how are you recapping this whole thing? Um, positive in all aspects. The The worst thing that happened was when we got there, uh, the field was wet from the day before. So, yeah, like, yeah. I was, like, n- no no t- type difference of shoe would have mattered unless I was preparing. Wearing galoshes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, unless I was preparing to wear, like, uh, rain boots or something. But, like, you know, the first couple of steps were just straight into, like, what looked like fresh grass. And my feet just sank. So... That's that's the worst part. So if that's the worst part, that's not too bad. No, that's not at not all. That's not too bad. But um, and I mean, I had a blast. Like I mean, I caught a ton of Pokemon. I got some shinies. It's it it's all good. Yeah, man. It, it just good good times all around. If if you haven't been to an IRL event for Pokemon Go, you need to make this part of your part of your year because it's it changes the perspective that you have on the game and the community and. I think the 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 pressure cooker that we've been forced to deal with on social because we haven't had these live events is why shit has boiled over with toxic behavior on Twitter because people forgot th- that there's people here. This we're not just a fucking username and it's like, you know, no one's going to, you know, I would appreciate it if people that if they're going to talk shit do it to my face, but they're not. You know what I mean? They're going to do that shit on Twitter. Yeah. So it, when you have IRL events though, it, it r- reminds everyone like, oh, we are all human. We are real. Oh, that's These- a person? Yes, yes. You know what I mean? And like, you know, just seeing like um, Niantic employees on the ground, you know, it was just awesome to everything has come full circle. Like, I'm really proud of of what we've made out of this th- this shit. So, yeah, um, I don't know. This was just a quick little bonus episode, you know, pre breakfast. We're You know, I'm, I'm excited. That we're about to go. uh out to brunch with Niantic right now. Um, I'm ordering everything on the menu. Thank you, Niantic. You know, I'll be like, <laughs> no, <don't laughs> be like I'm gonna order some Wagyu beef, and they'll be like, "Bro, you're a vegetarian." I'm like, "I don't care. That shit's on the menu. I'm ordering it." Um, no, but <laughs> it, it, it's been amazing. Um, yeah, fucking Philadelphia Safari Zone, man. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, definitely. But before we wrap up, I do want to uh, give some thanks and uh, plugs here, really quick, to our sponsor, and uh, you know. It is Halloween, right? So, so it's you know, spooky. Well, I'm very concerned about blood on my balls because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like ah, it's a bloodbath. <laughs> my balls. It's like no. There, look, there's and and yo, we we have fun with these ad reads and shit, but I, I got to give it to Manscaped. This one was fucking funny. I'm gonna read it verbatim because it's that fucking funny. It says. It says, Adam, there's got to be a better way to get my dagger clean and shiny and safely. <laughs> yeah. <That's> what, <laughs> this is what I used to deal with when I cut myself shaving before I knew about Manscaped. It was a fucking bloodbath. <laughs> Thank you, Manscaped, for keeping my dagger slick and ready for whatever the night takes me. Manscaped is trusted by over 4 million men. Yo, it used to say two. Now it's up to 4 million. I think we could take credit for those extra 2 million people that now no, are shaving could, their balls yeah. with Manscaped. <laughs> but join those men in that movement uh, by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code BALLCHECK, B-A-L-L-C-H-E-C-K, all one word. Um, look, it's time to end the days of shaving your balls, ending up looking like a horror movie. We don't want that. We don't want blood on your balls. I'm concerned about blood on my balls. Maybe <laughs> fake blood, not real blood. I don't want that. The folks at Manscaped have the perfect package for your package to get this done. The below the waist grooming leaders have a fourth generation performance package. This is the lawnmower 4.0. This is what you and yeah. I have been shaving our balls with. Yeah. Not each other's balls, but our yeah, own balls. Because yeah, we haven't we- seen each other. I know, but I would but shave your balls. We should have we shaved together. our yeah. balls. We should have done that. Be like, Adam, I think it's time for us to bond. We have like a little bonding ritual. It's just like, it's like I'll lay down on the ground. You can like teabag the buzzer. Bzz, bzz, bzz. <laughs> 
<laughs> but look, no, this new package, it comes with the weed whacker. That's the ear and nose hair trimmer, liquid formulations, and two free gifts. Good shit happening over at Manscaped. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code BALLCHECK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code BALLCHECK, B-A-L-L-C-H-E-C-K. Slay your worst pubes and keep your dagger clean with Manscaped. Adam, that's a wrap, B. We that did it. That is a wrap. Thank you, everyone. Check out LuredUp.com for everything we have going on at the show. Info at LuredUp.com, 732-835-8639. All the information is going to yeah, be in the description. Yeah, check your candy, too. Make sure check no, your candy. Uh, Make sure there's no pot candy. Mail. If you get pot candy, mail it to me. But other than that, that's a wrap. Yeah, mail it to you. Keep training, trainers. Appreciate you all. Have a good night. Okay.